and welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I'm gonna paint my windows for the holidays. And so I just wanted to show you guys a quick, easy, cheap way to decorate for the holidays. Cause I know this can get to be in a really expensive time. So the first thing that I want you guys to know though, is just sort of has some type of sketch that you're gonna follow. Um, sketch is not perfect by any means. And then have a dry erase marker. The dry erase marker is gonna help you get the paint in the right areas because I'm not just gonna throw the paint on wherever willy-nilly. <laughs> I am actually going to draw it out as best I can with the dry erase marker because it erases. And then I'll use my paint and fill up the entire thing. So I'm gonna do a happy holidays, um, a snowman and a Santa stuck in a chimney. And then if you are doing words like me, what I recommend is actually going outside and writing on the outside if you can. So that way everything is nice and straight when you try to paint it on the inside. Cause I know doing it a little backwards can be tough. So let's get to it. Okay. So now that it's all traced out, what you want to think of is what it's going to look like on the outside. You cannot, it's actually opposite than the way you would actually do it on canvas. So you want to do things that you want to pop out of the window first. So I'm actually going to do my letters first and then my tree over top of it. So it's going to look very different inside than it is outside, of course, but I think it's still going to look fantastic. And then I also took on both of these sides and I took a picture from Google that I thought would be simple, whether it was, you know, looked at from the inside or the outside. So the only thing that's really going to be different is this happy holidays. Um, I already walked outside and looked at it and I did my P's backwards, which I don't know how I didn't see that, but yeah, so I fixed them. Everything should be fine. And I'm going to start with that. I want to use a nice large brush. I'm gonna use black paint so that way I can do my tree over top of that green. And then of course the snowy white and our blue background. Um, it's really gonna to come together. I promise you that. So stay tuned, let's uh, get to painting. with your black but if you want it to be a full bodied black then what you're gonna do is a couple extra layers it gets dry so what happens is when you put that paint back on top it reactivates the paint underneath and actually can come across the window uh, come off of the window so what you want to do is when you're grabbing extra paint be super light with your brush strokes so that way it doesn't uh, peel off the paint that you've already placed on all the chimneys and the candles have a certain glow a secret and a song even church bells sing along and the children making angels in the snow oh
Listening to this song